They asked me before to come back. They asked me in the last year and a half to come back. When I was offered this. So come back. I want to come back. What's up, Power Fans and YouTube? It's your boy Nino, and I'm back with another Power video. Now, in this video, I'll be talking about one of the topics of the moment, which is Omari, aka Ghost, coming back to power, the possibilities, and whether or not Ghost will come back as Ghost or as a Ghost. And of course, if you are new to my channel, you're welcome. Kindly hit the subscribe button, like, share, leave your thoughts in the comment section. If you have already subscribed, thanks for the support. Now, let's get straight into this topic. First off, I want to send a quick shout out to these two people on Instagram, at Kev Dion and Tok's cousin. They both drew my attention to Omari's interview on Ghost as soon as he was dropped. Thanks for reaching out, guys. Now, almost all of you know that I've been the only YouTube power reviewer who constantly give you hope on the possible return of Ghost. Even though people throw shades at me in the comments when it comes to Ghost, I still believe that the show is not done with Omari. I gave a lot of reasons in my previous videos on Ghost Return already and still standing by those reasons, so I won't repeat all of them again this time. If you are new here and you haven't watched yet, try and go through my videos on my page and follow my theories on them. And I'll leave some links in the description so that you can assess these videos ASAP. Now, it isn't surprising that Omari still talks about Ghost character in almost all his interviews. There is no way one can refer to him other than Ghost in any other movie or TV show. Ghost is like his new name apart from Omari. His iconic role and how people related and are still relating to him till today is overwhelming that stars and the show producers will be unreasonable, for lack of better words, not to see the potential future of breaking the internet with his comeback. Now, let's talk about his comeback. In his recent interviews, he stated that stars wanted him to come back like a year and a half ago. Now, there are two things involved in his comeback. He will either come back as a ghost or he will come back as ghost. Now, what are the possibilities? Can he still be alive or he will only come back dead? If he comes back dead, will his influence be as huge as compared to if he comes back alive? Secondly, what does stars want with regards to his comeback? And what does the audience also want with regards to his comeback? These and many more questions needs to be answered first and proper strategy for his coming back can follow. Now, back to the possibilities. Ghost can come back as both, if you ask me. He can come back as alive and he can come back as dead. It all depends on the two sides agreeing to a key thing, which is money. Now, what was the possible reason or reasons that stars chased Ghost in the first place? We all remember the scene where Tariq got a letter in jail from Ghost, right? Our expectations was that Ghost should have read that letter instead of Tariq's voice. I knew you'd end up here, little nigga. People were of the view that they should have reached out to Ghost or Omari to get his voice over. Now, this is the first reason I think they reached out to him. The second reason could be that they wanted him to appear as a ghost in Tariq's dream at the scene where we all saw Kanan, Proctor, Riri, Lakeisha, and so forth. So this could be another reason why they reached out to him. Now, what else could be the possible reason they reached out to Omari or Ghost? So I mistakenly read one spoiler in the comments of one of my videos that says that Braden saved Tariq from getting killed. Now, if per the comment I read is true and that was the last scene and Tariq find himself almost getting killed, Ghost saving him again with a historic appearance at that last scene like that will crash the internet. I use the word again because the closest Tariq came to getting killed was when Tommy wanted to kill him after he found Ghost on the floor and Ghost stopped Tommy. So the second saving of Tariq will change the whole dynamics of the game for Tariq and the St. Patrick's will be alive again. Now, it could be that this was the reason they wanted him back as well. Before I move on, let me know what you also think in the comment section below. Now, what does Omari have to say when stars approached him? They asked me in the last year and a half to come back. When I was offered this, when I was in Boston reading this script, I was in Boston saying, okay, then this. And then the then this went to stars and then they didn't come back giving me what I wanted on the then this. So according to him, he was in Boston reading a script for another production when they asked him to come back to the show. So he said, then pay me X amount. For the purposes of this video, let's say he wanted a million dollars before he will come back to the show. So whoever approached him with the request went back to Stars with his $1 million request, but Stars never came back with any revert on his $1 million request. So since they didn't come back that they will pay him the $1 million, he also said fine then I'm not coming back to the show. So maybe that was why they went ahead to use Tariq's voice in reading the letter and also represented him on the phone in Tariq's dream in the classroom. Or why they used Braden to save Tariq at the end based on what I mistakenly read in the comments. So basically, 
All Omari was trying to say was that when they approached him with the idea of coming back, the reason he didn't come back was his demands were not met. We all saw the various ways Omari expressed his unhappiness when it comes to the revenue he made as ghost. So I won't bore you with all those things again. Now the way forward is Omari must be respected for his impact on power, pay well, and ghosts can come back in whatever form they want him to come back. I keep telling people that there is no way any writer will not find a thin line to keep ghosts alive and make him live again. It is just a decision they have to make with regards to the individual which is Omari. Because ghosts being alive will still make a lot of sense, trust me. Even Lauren was initially killed and they dropped her RIP tombstone together with that of Zeke and Mecca in one Instagram post from stars and i believe the afterthought came that she can possibly be alive since they haven't revealed what if it did to her but then the posting of the tombstone of lauren alone should tell you that the first aim was to kill her but it took a good writer to bring her back to life now so trust me it takes two things to bring ghost back to life one is pay him what he deserves and get a good writer to write him back that's all there are a lot of statements made by ghost few moments before he got shot there were a lot of his reactions that were questionable before he got shot ramona's disappearance alone is something they can equally capitalize on and make him come back the ambulance leaving the scene moments after he was shot is another window so like i said ghosts can come back and it all boils down to money and a great writer to write the biggest twist in television show which will remain as reference in TV show production, just like Omari will have to live the rest of his life in the eyes of audience as not just Omari, but as Ghost. Now, in this statement of his where he said that he wants to come back to give the audience an appropriate ending, also suggests that the initial ending doesn't fully end it all. Giving the fans what I thought they deserved, which was the right and more appropriate ending. Now, I believe you agree power is Ghost and Ghost is power. There is no way the presence of ghosts coming back will not break the internet and give stars proper relevance in huge numbers in history. And we all know, had it not been power, most of you wouldn't have signed on to stars app. And I bet some people are still glued to power not because they are so much in love with all these new characters, but I can say that most people still watch power hoping ghosts will pop up one day. Now, if stars knows the value of this show and the significance of the influence the character ghost carries, which I believe they do and that is why they name it power book to ghost then trust me they have a plan for ghost ask yourself why didn't they name it power book to Tariq, but rather ghost so to me there is more like ghost 2.0 and like i said in my previous videos no one will ever see ghost coming they would see me when I'm coming. let me know what you also think in the comment section what will it mean to you if ghost must come back and also which way do you think will make sense to you is it when he comes back as dead ghost or if he comes back as living ghost, aka James St. Patrick. Drop your thoughts and theories in the comment section. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, turn on your notification bell to get notified on my next video. Like, share, most importantly, leave your thoughts in the comment section. Catch you in my next video. It's your boy Nino. Thanks for watching.